Hey gang, I recently got an email from Elias out of LA who says his freezer is stuffed and he's anxious to learn how to perfectly sear tuna so that he can start enjoying seared tuna and clearing out his freezer. So I've come up with this video because seared tuna has always been a favorite of mine and I've got a super easy technique that will just blow your mind and it'll be something you'll remember forever and you'll be able to pull off some of the most beautiful seared tuna dishes ever. If you're interested in learning how to do that, my name is Yanni, this is Fisherman's Belly, home of the easy fish recipes. Here we go. California spiny lobsters. I'll take that one. Oh my. I'm gonna fillet this yellowtail in my suit and tie. Oh my goodness, take a look at that. Unbelievable. Look at the steam coming off. Homemade smoked tuna belly dip. Oh my god. Oh. Here you have it, ladies and gentlemen. Fried crispy tuna tacos. Bring home a whole yellowtail and make this soup. All right, it's basting time. Oh man, look. Okay, at first we're gonna start off with a few table, there's my cat, a few tablespoons of mayo. One tablespoon of dry wasabi powder. And here I've got seasoned rice wine vinegar. I just need a tablespoon of it. Wow, perfect, that's it. Okay, so now this goes in the refrigerator until we need it. Time for the next step and that is to grab your cast iron skillet and start heating it up. Okay, I'm gonna add about three tablespoons of grapeseed oil because number one, it's super healthy, but number two, it's a, basically a tasteless oil, so about three tablespoons. And it's time to go grab the tuna. Okay gang, so I've taken a tuna filet and I've cut it up into pieces that are probably about finger size. See this? Here we go, take a look, right? So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some kosher salt and I'm gonna salt them. Flip them over. Just touch them with a light salting again. And now we're ready for the frying pan and the super secret technique. Come over here and check this out. Okay, here we go. So here's the secret technique. You only, when you lay the filet into the frying pan, you don't touch it and then you lift it out after about 20 or 30 seconds and it's done. Check this out. See this? Look at that. That's what we're looking for. Just one side. Oh my goodness, look at that. Wow. Wow, there it is. It's seared only on one side, and look at that, perfectly medium rare up on top, that's perfect. All right, I'm gonna set this aside, let it cool off, and I've got a few other things to cut up. Okay, I'm gonna finally chop up this sweet red pepper. Time to cut up a little bit of fresh pineapple. Oh boy, take a look at that, nice and sweet. All right gang, it is my favorite time Final assembly time. I've cut up those sweet red peppers. I've cut up some pineapples. 
I even, when you guys were watching, I even cut up some cilantro. I've got some chopped cilantro. <laughs> and I've got my seared tuna and my traditional Japanese wasabi sauce. Watch this very carefully. First, we're gonna start off with a dollop of the wasabi mayo. Right there, okay? Then we're gonna do this. We're gonna smear it all over. Oh, that's nice. Maybe just a little more. We're gonna smear it up a little more. Ooh, just like that, okay. Now we're gonna grab some of our fish. And we're just gonna put it in here, like this. Oh, look at that. Oh. Look at this. Oh. Oh my goodness. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my goodness. All right, next, we're going to add a few of these cubed up pineapples here and there. Next, a few of these red peppers. These sweet peppers. Just like that. And then a little bit of cilantro. And here you go, fellas. And Elias. Here is a simple technique for creating spot on seared tuna. And creating this seared tuna salad. The wasabi sauce, oh my god, the pineapple, the red peppers, the cilantro, and look at this. I'm not sharing this, and you know that. My name is Yanni, this is Fisherman's Belly. If you guys want the full recipe on this, go to my website, fishermansbelly.com, in the tuna section or in the Asian section, you'll find the full written recipe. And don't forget to subscribe so you guys can keep up to date with all these new recipes I keep coming up with. I want to thank you for spending time with me today, and we will see you on the next one.